Welcome back Digi fans, welcome to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to make you a movie star. Did you like that? I did. I thought it was great. I'm going to make you a movie star because I'm going to teach you how to make your own movie poster, your own film poster. This can be about a film that you've seen. It might be a film that you've got in your head. It might be a film that you're going to star in. Any film you like. But I'm going to teach you how to make it using Adobe Spark Post. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Adobe Spark apps individually, Adobe Spark page, post and video. And if you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. So let's go over to the tutorial where I am going to make you a movie star using Adobe. What is that? I have no idea. I'm going to make you a movie star using Adobe Spark Post. Enjoy. OK, so let's make you a movie star. Go to the plus here is one way to start. You can go to a custom size graphic. But actually, let me show you how I'm going to do it today. Now I'm going to search for movie. I've already got it in there because I've just been looking for some of the best templates. And look at all of these templates that you can use. There's loads of them. And you can just scroll through. And when you see one that you like, you can have a little pick and then remix it. This is the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to click there and edit this template. It comes up in here. And all you have to do is start editing the text. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is edit the title. OK, this one's going to be called Dr. Tom and the Bears Defeat. I'm watching um, a series with my nephew at the moment on Dr. Tom, who's a polar bear doctor. Um, and it's really cool. There's some uh, really cool stories in there. And that's what's inspiring my film. Now, I'm going to bring it bring the size of it down slightly. Now you can see that uh, when I move it around, you can see that little pink line that came up in the middle there. And that's how you center it. Now you can drag the edges there. And then when you go to recenter, it'll take you back to the exact center, which is great. I've got that, I like it. If you wanna change the color of that title, you can, you can just select the color there and go into that. And uh, there's also a style wheel that you can go to as well and sort of move it around until you find something that you really like. But um, actually, I really like the original one, so I'm going to stick with it. So I'm going to go here to the top where it says Incredible Journey. What I want you to write is a little kind of sentence introduction to what your story is about, but don't give too much away. So uh, an amazing tale of good and evil, strong character and will. OK, nice. Now, I think I might stretch that out but let me show you another way to do it oh well, you see the pink line that just means that it's centered down here you've got letter spacing now if you increase the letter spacing look at that it just stretches itself out and that roughly matches the text on the top sorry the text of the title so i like that an amazing tale of good and evil strong character and will dr tom and the bird's defeat okay now um this Obviously, this image in the back has nothing to do with the uh, the kind of film that I've got in my head. So I can press replace there or press it there. It doesn't matter either way. And then you come up with, uh, you know, this this free photo was about winter hike. Now, you can uh, upload your own photo, of course, but I'm going to find uh, free photos. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put, what am I going to put there? Okay. Now, there's some really cool photos in here. Whoa, look at that one. Amazing, really cool. Now, what I'll do here is I'll increase the scale on it because I really want to get the picture uh, of that bear right in the middle. So you can see his eyes and his nose and his mouth. Unbelievable. And then this kind of uh, little quote here. I don't know if, you, if you've seen on cinema posters is that quite often they'll have a quote from somebody, you know, really important like, really a famous film director or a personality, a celebrity. So I'm going to double click that. OK, and I'm going to put my own little quote in and I'm going to say uh, such a tragedy. Um, you will be transfixed uh, until 
the very last moment. Whoa! Exclamation mark. Close my speech. Oh, I didn't. I did a different one up there. Let me put them in the same. And then I'll start a new line, and I'll put a funny squiggle there. Digi Dom. That's kind of pretending that I'm a film critic or a film director, and I've got something really important to say about that. Uh, now, one of the things you can do with this text as well, in order to make it a little bit more special, is press the shape tool there. And you can select any one of these down here. And I think you can try them out just by clicking them. Happy with that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think there's probably better. So let me just keep scrolling until this one that I... Ooh, what's that one like? That's pretty cool. Ooh, what else have we got? Oh, maybe, maybe that one. Yeah, that looks cool. It's like the arrows is great. And I'll put it right in the middle of the bear's mouth. And then maybe I'll select it and uh, get it. Yeah, I'll do it like that. A little bit sort of shorter and fatter. That would be good. Okay, nice. I like how that's looking so far. And then down the bottom here, they've got lots of, lots of text in this one. I don't know what. There's all sorts of people that you can credit, for example. Maybe the actors that are in your imaginary film. Well, you could do this for... A uh, film that you actually have seen yourself on TV. That would be great. Um, what am I going to put in here? I'll put out in cinemas. Ooh, cinemas in July 2020. Cool. Now I can grab one of the corners here. Make it a bit bigger. That's nice. I like that. Uh, and let me just check here. So in this piece of text here, we've got Leto Bold. That's the font. And then here we've got Belfort Thin. Okay, so maybe what I might do is make sure that all of the white text is the same font. Uh, so that one's later bold as well. And so is that one. So that's good news that all the same font, which I think is pretty important in order to get it looking really stylish. Now, last thing I'll show you is if you click here, you can go to filters. And there's all sorts of things that you can do on here. You can uh, take the kind of, oh, it had a darkened filter on already. You can take that off. You actually see a bit more of the bear if you do that, which is quite cool. But you can also like colorize it if you want. Ooh, spooky. Uh, grayscale it. Ooh, the grayscale is cool. What I'm, and so is the multiply. They're all pretty cool to be honest. Maybe I'll go for, maybe I'll go for grayscale. I think that makes it look quite sort of, uh, I don't know, even more menacing maybe. That or the darken. Maybe I'll leave it on the darken, but you have a little play around. See what you think takes your fancy. Great stuff. Now, as always, you can download it as a JPEG or even a PNG. Start the download and it will come down here on your machine. You can also click share and then you can publish it, which means you can click link there and you get a really cool link which you can share with your family and friends. And there it is. Copy that and send that out to whoever you like. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. I know I, I know, I know I did. What is that? I've literally no idea. Anyway, um, yeah, as always, share your work with me using the hashtag DigiDom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and make you a movie star. Uh, also, if you want to get these videos before anybody else, then you're going to need to subscribe. So subscribe and then you'll get them before anybody else. That's it from me, movie stars, Digi fans. And where am I going to see you? In the next Digidon video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.